Hello guys, welcome to Excel series. In my previous video, I have told you about merge queries, merge queries, and merge queries as name. Now we will learn about now we will learn about append queries. So first we have append queries and append queries as names. Append queries will modify your selected table, but append queries as new will modify query in a new worksheet and create a new query. So your original data will remain safe. So both are same. So we will use append queries as new because we don't want to lose the original data. So let's close this and I will show you how we can use append queries. So merge queries are used to combine the data basis on a common key but pen queries is a used to merge the data with the same column structure and it is not used to merge them side to side but it is used to merge the table one below another so let's learn a pen queries with an example close this now we have some sales data here we have january sales and then we have february and then we have march so let's convert them into table by pressing ctrl t and then select ok and then we have march sale convert these into table and then select ok so we need to take these into the power query so click anywhere in your table go to data tab and select from table range here you can name them so these are january sales so we name them as so we name this as January sales and then go to close and load here you don't have to close and load you have to use close and load too and then select only create connection and then select ok now we have January sales in our connections now we'll do the same with these take them to the power query and then name them as sub sales and then go to close and load too and then create connection only and then select ok now we have January February now we want to do same with the March one go to from table range and here edit the name as March sales and then go to close close and load too and then again here select only create connection and then select ok now we have january february sales and march sales and notice all of these have same column structure and i want to combine them into a one column so what we can do is they have same column structure but they don't have any product id so i want to combine them down below this so we will go to our query by clicking anywhere and then go to append queries so append query will if we use only append query it will make changes to january sales but we don't want this we want original query to stay like that and we want a new query so we will use append queries as new and then we have we have more than two tables so what we will do is add and then march table add and then select okay now we have all of the sales in one table and it's named named as pen one we can name as q1 sales and then press enter and then we can use close and load and we can load back the q1 data into excel in which all of the sales are together in one table so hopefully you understand what is a merge query and what is a pen query so merge query is used to merge the query based on a common key otherwise the pen queries will just go to tables on one another which has same column structures so if you like this video press the like button and follow for more videos like this